population age as more and more seniors are in need of home care. And as it turns out, more and more seniors are providing it. In the past decade, there has been a 50% increase in the number of elderly looking after the elderly. It's because so many prefer home care to the alternative living in a nursing home, but it makes enormous demands on the caregiver. CTV's medical specialist, Avis Favreau, with a heartfelt story. Yeah. How are you feeling this morning? This is a glimpse into the life of Roy and his wife, Tamara. You're good, are you? Yeah. You look lovely. You've got your smile on your face. Okay. Roy is nearly 90, the main caregiver for his wife, who is 92. I feel better? Much better. Part of a growing trend in Canada, the very elderly caring for other frail seniors. Tamara was once a university vice president. She and Roy married late in life. But soon after, her health declined. She fell. Oh, my sweetheart, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Became bedridden sure and right. blind. Yeah. And she desperately wants to stay yeah. here in her home. I just couldn't face going to, going to a nursing home. So with a mixture of love, yeah. duty, and compassion, Roy cares for her. And after her breakfast is finished, I then get her and I change her diaper and do a, almost a sponge bath, but not quite. Hello. For four hours a day during the week, support workers from the local community care and access center arrive. Yeah, I use that on the eyes for Roy's grateful for the help, but evenings and weekends, he's on his own. At the end of the weekend, I pretty well played out. He'd love to have support, but he's at the limit for government-sponsored home care, and Roy can't afford to hire on his own. It's a looming problem across the country. We have an aging population. It's not going away. Um, and we don't, we need to prepare for a future where we can help people to live in their homes as long as possible. Fortunately, Roy says his health is good. Well, I'm surprised for you. His philosophy in caring for Tamara is that it isn't a burden, but a joy. It's a relationship and a love story. Yeah. That's what it should be. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Kitchener, Ontario. <laughs> Well, it was love at first sight for an Ohio woman just in time for Mother's Day when she gave birth to identical twin girls. But it was what those babies were doing when they came into the world that amazed mom, dad, and the delivery room staff. Holding hands. And Mother's Day is definitely going to be different. It's definitely...